and 7 First Alert Forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Well, a man from Ann Arbor accused of killing his own father is scheduled to appear in court today. Dr. Michael Krauss, a dentist, was killed over the weekend at his home. Police say when officers got to the home, Krauss's 33-year-old son was outside with blood on his hands. Officers say he admitted to attacking his dad after his dad began yelling at him and his mother. An autopsy revealed that Dr. Krauss died from blunt force trauma to the head. Now with the extreme cold moving into Michigan, Governor Gretchen Whitmer has declared a state of emergency. Governor Whitmer has already signed the order and is expected to file it with the Secretary of State this morning. It's in response to the sub-zero temperatures expected across the state over the next several days. Wind chills are expected to drop below zero this morning and it could get as cold as 50 degrees below zero later this week. Welcome back. It's going to be a cold day today. It's going to be a really cold night tonight. Beginning at 6 p.m., a wind chill warning starts and it's going to last all the way through 11 a.m. Thursday. Now, we also have winter storm warnings over the western part of the state from lake effect snow. That's going to be possible today, tonight, tomorrow, and through the day Thursday. So the wind directions out of the northwest and the wind coming off the lake, off of Lake Michigan, could be some snow squalls and periods of heavy snow across western Michigan. Some of the lake effect snow showers could drift into southeast Michigan today, so we have a 50% chance. I'll be catching a snow shower this morning and again later after 4 p.m. But right now, just north of Adrian and Lenaway, some light snow there, light snow Lake Orion to Oxford up toward Lapeer along I-69. So uh, a few flurries, light sh snow showers this morning, more snow showers after 4 p.m. But temperatures falling through the day today will mean the single digits after about 2 p.m. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.